what the machine has is, is loading on the uh, left side of the machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the part down on here. And I go up against the pin and I hit the pedal. The clamp grabs the part, starts moving it through. So now it's checked the size of the part to make sure it's the correct diameter or the correct length, width, and thickness to make sure it's the right part. So while that's running, I can prep the second part. So as the machine's machining the part, it, it, we go from the in feed to the out feed. And it's going to sit out there when it's done machining. And what we're doing on this part, this is a uh, wall-in panel. So we're doing line boring, construction holes, and right now we're doing back grooving. So as soon as this part's done and we exit out to the out feed, I'm just simply going to accept the next part that I want to do. Okay, the machine's ready. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a different part. Actually, we're going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to run my rail. Okay. So now we're going from a wall in to a much smaller part here. So this is a four inch wide rail. I'm going to hit go. And then what I'm going to do is come over here and I take this part off. This is the part that we ran through there. So we can see there's my part I ran. It's a wall in panel. Um, so right now what it's doing is making a rail. So I, on this machine, I have vertical drilling, I have horizontal boring in all four directions, I have a grooving saw in the x-axis, and then I have a four-position tool changer. So, have got horizontal boring on the ends here for this part, you can see. And what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the hood and take a look inside. So I'm going to tool changer loading. What the machine's doing right now is it's moving the head up so I can get to it and it's going to unlock the door for me. So the door is interlocked so it knows it's uh, got a safety on it so we can't open while we're machining the part. Within here you can see I've got vertical drilling, horizontal boring, tool changer, as well as a grooving saw. So this, this machine can do everything that a pod and rail machine can do but we're doing it in a very small footprint. We have no uh, vacuum pods. Uh, we're holding it mechanically. Uh, so there's zero setup from part size. You can see I went to two different sizes of parts with no setup, no changes. Um, it's a very quick changeover machine. If, um, if you have any other questions on that, just let me know.